Hey guys, welcome to Supercars of London and a Friday vlog. I've got that Friday feeling, the sun's out. I'm heading out to lunch in the baby blue Fiat 500 0.9. So you're gonna come with me and then we're gonna come back and uh, talk about why my Audi R8 is sitting downstairs, uh, feeling poorly, feeling sorry for itself. We're gonna talk about um, the benefits of buying secondhand cars and um, the non-benefits from buying secondhand cars, especially R8s. So uh, let's go. So the not so healthy um, R8 right, is sitting there for now. Uh, we're gonna wait until we plug diagnostics in. The car's drivable. The car's, um, it just, I don't know. I don't particularly wanna drive it when it's not um, 100%. So we're, dry, we're gonna walk across the road to where I um, have to park the Fiat because it's not welcome in the uh, SB car park. I'm running across the road. Here we go. Oh yeah. Here we go. So off to Tesco's in the uh, 0.9 Fiat 500. That was up to 3000 RPM, um, if you heard those revs at all. Um, I'm gonna go to Tesco's, I'm on the um, healthy eating, I'm absolutely starving. It's Friday, the sun's out, and I'm feeling a lot better than I did at the beginning of the week, so I apologize for the inactivity. I hope you guys enjoyed the Throwback Thursday video yesterday, that was a lot of fun to talk about the um, video of dumbest rich man in the world. Um, yeah, we're gonna go to Tesco's. I need to get um, a birthday card for my sister because she turns 21 this weekend, which is why I'm not going to the Gumball meet um, in Manchester. Um, well, my car couldn't have made it there anyway, and I don't think um, turning up in this would have caused um, an entrance. No one would really uh, notice me coming in. Actually, they probably would because it's baby blue. Um, so let's go to Tesco's, I'll stop talking, and uh, you're just gonna sit on my dash. Check me out, driving this car, it's so funny. I get so many looks in this car, uh, mainly from uh, young men my age that expect there to be a good looking girl driving the car because it's baby blue Fiat 500 with flowers everywhere. But it's me, it's me driving, it's a trick um, and it's a funny trick. So maybe I'll try and capture that. Um, it's just difficult, difficult. when I'm, when, I'm sta when uh, the car's stationary. I'll try and capture it because um, you can't film, uh, well I can't film myself while I'm driving because I'm not concentrating on the road. So uh, on the way to Tesco's. Pulling into the Tesco's where I normally pick, get my fuel, which can be seen here. Uh, it's Friday, so no matter what the day, um, I don't get let off this new training diet. Um, gym later, uh, normally on a Friday, uh, we'd all treat ourselves to a McDonald's or a KFC, sometimes a Domino's. During the summer we had Domino's as well, which is probably uh, 5 million calories per slice, uh, but it tastes so good. Um, however, I'm having to uh, fight my temptations. My mouth just watered there, for anyone that's wondering me talking about fast food. I haven't had it in so long <laughs> that it um, made my mouth water. But I'm going to go in and have some leaves, some rabbit food, um, and also some meat for protein um, and uh, I just doing this diet has made me all round a much healthier person I feel a lot better every day that I wake up uh, and uh, going to the gym is a lot of fun now check this out this is something you don't see in London uh, at all whether it's actually a BMW M5 or not is another matter but that is uh, some crazy orange with carbon fiber BMW 5 series. Maybe it is an M3, and I'm just looking for a space. Um, is that a space? Yes, it is. Good thing about Fiat 500s, they're tiny, and they can almost fit in bike spaces, so uh, that's a good thing. Put the camera there, whilst I reverse. Just fits in like a glove everywhere beautiful now I have to face the embarrassment of getting out of this car made it back from Tesco's with um, not many goodies at all um, if you're interested in what I got lean chili some drink that's uh, apparently good for you uh, recovery from the gym 10 calorie jelly though amazing that is absolutely amazing 
And I got my sister a birthday card. Not too much uh, thought or imagination has gone into it. It said 21st, so I thought I'd uh, give her a special card, you know. Being the uh, kind-hearted brother that I am. Now back to um, SB to check out my car. Um, talk to you guys about um, the problems that I've been having. And unfortunately, I'm not in, not sure that Audi Audi are going to um, particularly enjoy this video because uh, the car that I've bought isn't as robust as I was expecting it to be being the German manufacturer and a lot of people are saying that a 50,000 mile uh, car is a high mile car which um, just isn't true there's a lot of cars a lot of R8s out there that are a lot high mileage um, and there's a lot of R8s out there that um, say that they're low mileage when they're actually a lot higher than they are so yeah, my car has unfortunately had uh, one problem after another, which um, is just my luck really more than anything. Um, I wish that I could have had a clean run, uh, bought the most perfect example, and then uh, was able to live with it and not have to spend any money on it. But that's the, the uh, sort of downside to having a second-hand supercar and then there's the, gonna be the question why didn't I buy a, a brand new one well I was considering it but if I bought a brand new one that I was wouldn't be able to uh, put the project's wheels on it I wouldn't be able to put the army tricks exhaust on it because it would void the warranty so I decided that a second-hand one would be better for what I wanted to do and uh, I wanted to tear up tunnels uh, create a lot of noise with uh, the supercar and stock um, stock R8 just don't do that, especially the V8 ones. So um, that is uh, sort of an explanation as to why I didn't buy a first hand or a brand new Audi R8. It was definitely an option, um, but the second hand one just sort of, I was able, to, it gave me a lot more freedom to do what I wanted. Um, so I enjoy the Army Tricks exhaust system, I enjoy the uh, Project's wheels and I enjoy sort of um, having the freedom to do whatever I wanted to do. If I wanted to stick a body kit on it tomorrow, then I could. Um, if I got a new one, then I'd probably have to speak to Audi about it. Um, so, uh, there's ups and downs to buying new cars, ups and downs to buying used cars. And unfortunately, um, I seem to be having a lot of downs with my Audi R8. So we're just waiting at the traffic lights now. It's taking forever. Um, this is taking forever, here we go bike point, handbrake off, and we're away. So when we get back to SB, I'm gonna to talk to you a lot more about uh, buying secondhand supercars, uh, what to look out for, what not to look out for, because I think that um, having bought one um, and seeing how badly things can go wrong, they're not actually that bad. I'm making it out to be a lot worse than it is, and it's, it's a drivable car. It just has a lot worse fuel consumption than it used to, so uh, there seems to be a mixture problem. There seems to be a fuel tank malfunction, or whatever it is, there's a problem, and we're about to find out and sort it out, and hopefully it's not an expensive fix. So uh, see you back at SB. Right, I'm, I'm starting recording now. You don't need to get me in a picture, okay? I'm not going to get you in a picture, no. But I'm going to sit in the passenger seat. In the passenger seat? Look, and it's just going to go there. You want to sit all in they can seat? See, all they can see, oh no, I'm going to sit in the driver's seat. And all, you can, all they can see is your arm. But you're going to plug it into the diagnostics and find out what this engine light is. And the fuel tank malfunction. Oh. You record it? Yeah, yeah, it's recording, yeah. Oh. And I'll just, I'll just, <laughs> I'll edit bits. You're not used to the video, the video, the camera life, are you? <laughs> Can you put the ignition on, please? Yes, sir. Don't want any music. So the engine light is on. Fuel tank malfunction that hasn't come in, which is good. That usually disappears after a few revs. <laughs> so position... Camshaft position sensor. Camshaft position sensor. Do you want me to text it to you so you know what you're talking about? Yeah, well it's all in the video anyway. Okay. And I'm just going to edit it. <laughs> Do you want me to do anything else? Or you have, is that it? Is that, all, that, is that the... Yeah, that's the, the, that's the yeah. main problem? Yeah. Okay.
Made it to the end of a long but sunny sunny Friday and I can still smile even after that footage of us plugging the diagnostics in. That was Barry um, and uh, he's not very camera friendly uh, but he plugged the diagnostics in. We, un we found out a little bit about why the engine light was on um, and it seems to be a couple of cylinder misfires um, which have caused this sort of engine light to pop up so we've sorted that we're going to um, replace the sensor that's in the uh, cylinders no idea what it is I was just sitting there you probably saw from that footage that I didn't have a clue uh, what Barry was talking about and I still don't have a clue He's, he did offer to text me um, all of the information so I could relay it to you um, but I'm sure that there's going to be some guys out there that know exactly what I'm talking about so um, so um, thank you for watching um, and tuning in to uh, checking up on what my R8 is doing and then hopefully over the next couple of weeks we can uh, get that sorted. Over the weekend I'm going to show you a um, sample booklet of uh, different wrap materials that I've been sent from a company so that we can decide together uh, what I'm going to wrap my car. I'm going to give you a few of my ideas that I've had uh, which uh, I wasn't intending on doing, I was going to give you a surprise um, but I want to bring you guys in on this wrap and um, hopefully Hopefully we can all collectively find a wrap that we all like together and then we can just put it on my R8 and make it the uh, Supercars of London R8 chosen by my subscribers um, and followers. So that would be absolutely awesome if we can do that. Make sure that you share um, my videos, like, comment and uh, continue to watch and support me. Um, through this difficult time of my uh, R8 being poorly and me cruising around in this baby blue Fiat 500. If you see me, give me a wave, give me a honk. <laughs> Thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you on the weekend to discuss wraps. Here we go. Cheers, guys.